Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this series of videos, we are going to focus on the central tool of Adobe Illustrator, the pen tool. And uh, the pen tool is the heart and soul of Illustrator. It's been in Illustrator since the very beginning, and it will give you a tremendous freedom to draw precisely scalable vector images. Um, so let's get started. Uh, if you can download this file, uh, Pen Tool Mastery CC, uh, because we are focusing on the Pen Tool in Adobe Creative Cloud. And um, if you go under the View menu here, you can choose the View Introduction, which will bring you to this focus. I'd like you to switch your fill over here in the Tool Palette to None. And you can draw with either a black stroke or if you prefer to see your drawing in another color, uh, you can choose whatever color you like. Um, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll make mine magenta. And you have control over the weight of the stroke that you draw right up here. I'm just going to leave mine at one point for the moment. The pen tool is uh, over in your tool panel. If you hold down your mouse button and drag out, you'll see that it's actually a suite of tools. And we're going to concentrate on the main tool, uh, the pen tool, and we'll discuss these later. So let's get started. Um, to understand vector drawing, uh, it's important to understand that there are anchor points and paths that go between those points. So it's very easy to create an anchor point. You just take the pen tool and you can see that little asterisk down to the right of my pen tool. That shows me that I'm going to be starting a new path. And I have a smart guides on, which is telling me that I'm over an anchor point. All I do is click here and just click, 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 click. And if I want to end my path, hold down the command key and just click on a uh, blank area. I'm going to uh, go to my A key here, and which takes me to my white arrow or my direct selection tool, just so we can see what we've accomplished. If I grab these anchor points, I can move them around. And I can shorten or lengthen the lines. It's kind of like drawing with uh, rubber bands. Uh, but I can't, I don't have any control with curves because all I did was click. If I want curves back to the pen tool, I have to click and drag. Um, and click and drag. You drag in the direction of the curve that you are planning to make. And don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect because you can always go back and adjust it later. Right here, I see I made a little mistake. So I'm going to hit A to take me to my direct selection tool. And I can grab that anchor point and move it. And because I clicked and dragged, Rather than just click, I have control handles, which I can grab and move around. And I can lengthen them and shorten them. And that gives me a great deal of control over my curves. And to activate those handles, you just click with the direct selection tool on any path. So when you take a look at this, you'll realize this gives you uh, a tremendous uh, ability to draw precisely. Next, we're going to explore how we would go from a curve to a straight. And we start off just as we did before, clicking and dragging to drag out our handle, and then clicking and dragging down. And now, if I were just to go over to this point, you can see from this little rubber band that I would not get uh, a straight line. I would get this like this curve. So what I have to do is go back and just click on that last point and that kills one of the anchors. And then I can come out and click here. Let me just stop that and um, 
you can see I've got my handles. I can adjust them. And if I hit my V key to get my selection tool, you can see what I've accomplished there, that I have a curve that goes to a straight. Next, we want to make hinged corners. And uh, this is probably the most complicated kind of corner that you need to make in Illustrator. And you just click and drag like we did before. And once again, click and drag like we did before. But now we're going to hold down our Option key. And if you look what happened to my cursor, I got that little V, that little uh, V shape, which tells me that the Convert Anchor Point tool has been selected. And then I just uh, push down my mouse button and I pull that handle up to here. Now I have to release my mouse button and go to my next point, or release my Option key rather. Click down there, hold down the Option key, and drag that point up. What this has accomplished is I now have that I now have hinged points. Because back up here, you'll notice that if I adjust one side of the curve, that it adjusts the other. And um, that's a good feature if you're trying to make smooth curves. And it's an important feature to maintain on um, anything that you're drawing where you want smooth, graceful curves. But sometimes you need to be able to switch directions abruptly, and that's uh, when you would make the hinged curve. So practice these a few times, and then we're just going to draw a very simple truck here. Here's a truck, and we can go back to our pen tool. Now, you probably have noticed that when I go between points that I get this rubber band, like that rubber band. This is a new feature in Illustrator Creative Cloud, and I sometimes find it uh, distracting. So I'm going to show you how to turn that off if you don't like it. You just go to your preferences, and if you're on a PC, that will be under Edit rather than under Illustrator CC. You go to Selection and Anchor Display, and right here where it says Enable Rubber Band 4, you can just unclick pen tool and that will hide the rubber band. Uh, it's up to you whether you like the rubber band or not. I, I personally find it a little distracting, uh, but you can work either way you want. So here we're going to go. We're going to start out just clicking. So I just click and uh, you may recall from previous lessons that when you hold down the shift key, it tends to constrain the way that various tools work. And right now, I want my um, second point to be exactly on the same horizontal plane as my first point. So I'm holding down my Shift key. And I can click here. And I hold down my Shift key. And that constrains me to uh, a line that's either 0 degrees, 90 degrees, or 45 degrees. And so that makes it really easy to draw this regular shape here. I'm going to come out to about here. And I'm just going to click and drag. That's going to allow me to go from the straight line to the curved line. Now I click and drag down there, and now I don't want this, uh, I don't want a curve here. That's not good. So I have to click here to kill that point. And I'm just going to go back to holding my shift key down. And here I need to click and drag. Now, I could do this in two ways. I could click down, put my next point here, or I could put my next point here. Well, I think I'll put it up here. It's a little easier. And then click and drag down. Kill that point. Hold down your Shift key again. Click and drag up. Click and drag across. Click and drag down and then kill that point. Shift key and Shift key. Uh, let me show you a little trick because uh, sometimes you need to correct your drawing a little bit. And notice here that that was a little bit higher than that. And there's a real easy way to get Illustrator to fix that for you.
Uh, going to my direct selection tool, I'm going to drag a marquee just around those bottom points and make sure nothing else is selected. And then I can choose object, path, average. And I just want it on a horizontal axis and click OK. And it just averages those. And I might want to make a little, few little edits to my curves here, which I'm not completely pleased with. Come on. Uh, and this is the beauty of vector drawing, that you can just fix anything. It's, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a perfectionist, you might find yourself spending a lot of time just pulling these little handles around and getting the curves exactly the way you want them. Now, for these last three shapes, we really don't need to use the pen tool, and uh, we can just use the object tools that are over here. So if I get my rectangle tool there, I can just make my rectangle. And if I go under the rectangle tool for the ellipse tool, um, I'm going to kind of go to the middle of this and hold down my option key so it'll draw out from the center and my shift key. If you've got a thumb available, you can hold down your space bar if you need to move it around a little bit. And just get it the way I want it. Um, back to my selection tool, uh, if I could draw another ellipse if I wanted to practice, or I could just hold down my shift and option keys here and copy it across. And the shift key um, constrains it to straight, and the option key um, makes the copy. You just have to make sure that you release your mouse button before you release um, the keys on the keyboard. Now I'm going to select these here and flip the stroke and fill here just so I can show you one more thing. It's not really related to the pen tool but uh, it's handy to know. If you want to make, like right now I could make this window here white. I'm just going to flip those uh, and get rid of the stroke. I could make that white. Uh, but if I want to see through, I want it to actually be transparent, um, I can get Illustrator to do that for me. I just have to select both shapes, and they both need to be closed shapes. And then just go to Object, Compound Path, Make. And bingo, now that uh, window is transparent. So it's kind of a good thing. You can see wherever I move this, it's going to move. Uh, accordingly. So uh, there's two closed shapes. Actually, I, I drew three closed shapes there, and my little truck is looking pretty good. Uh, as I said, if, I, if you see something that you want to edit, I just used my side arrow key there. Um, in our next videos, um, we are going to explore how to draw all of these different shapes here. Uh, the next video is going to be drawing this seashell which is kind of a fun one because it is drawn in one continuous line, starting in the middle and spiraling out and then spiraling back in. So I hope you'll join us for that.